And when Jen asked me if she could use my house for the reading, I was like, yes. I'm so supportive of her and I wish her good luck. And I'm about to head over to Sarah's house. I will be having my first reading of this script. I'm so nervous. I know it could go so many different directions. As of two days ago, I was still missing 20 pages of the script and didn't know how to resolve some issues and some holes. And I just, my mind has been working nonstop. And yesterday I was able to pull it together and finish the script and then print 10 copies dole out 80 rolls between nine people. So uh, this morning I was highlighting everybody's scripts and figuring out who was playing what roles and if it doesn't go well and nobody gets the script and a lot of things don't work, I'm not quitting. I'm just gonna keep moving forward, but it's gonna be disappointing. You know, it's like this is where I walk the walk. I've been talking the talk with all these videos and all this moving forward, but getting this script together is actually walking the walk and it's time to do that. So let's see how it goes. <sighs> Why do I smell Pop-Tarts? I think another script to read is a story of relationships and disappointments. It takes place in Mexico and- Are there black characters? The main woman is black, and the rest are Mexicans. Mexicans? <laughs> Silent as he thinks. I can't do Mexicans right now. I don't want a movie about Mexicans. Black people, yes. Mexicans, no. You're black, write a movie about black people and send me the script. So, you're not interested in representing Tour. You want tour? I have a good price. No, gracias. How about a dream? I sell you a dream. Looking for love? I sell it? <laughs> Believe me, if you could sell love, I would buy it. Oh, but I can. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I will cook for you, and then you will tell me your dreams, and I will hear you. <laughs> I will hear what you want. I will hear what you're not saying, and you will be heard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not real love. Nothing is real, and everything is real. Jenny stops filling pages in Mayo, a large, sexy man in the pool. The story of the pool, Sarah, day. Hello, Jenny. Welcome to my pool, where you will be pampered like the queen you deserve to be. True love is giving you every single thing that you want. I will show you love that will last. He invented a way to recycle the cooking oil from the restaurants into diesel. He collects the oil every morning and filters it in the evenings. In the weekends, he sells it, sells it the trucks. Tony, this is Jen. Zoe has a script just like that. You do? I do? She does, and it's great. You should read it. I should read it? You should read it. I would love to read it. <laughs> Going to Europe next week to promote the film. Call me in five weeks and I'll read it. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. It's really good. Look forward to reading it. Oh, I'm researching methods of garbage management and removal. <laughs> no. what? Tourism is destroying the island. I know. <laughs> it's definitely not the same place Louise described years ago. They need help. The experiences. To love. To love. To doing what you need to do to survive this life. To survive. They drink and watch the boats speed by taking the jump to Girl, you pushed it. You pushed yeah, it. You like, pushed I, it like, all the way there. Well, you can feel the way. desperation yeah. in the script, too, though. Was it yeah. slow? Where was it slow for you guys? It didn't feel slow. You know, it didn't feel slow because I was engrossed. I was very interested in what was happening. The industry that exists around screenwriting. I thought that your satire on that was like spot mm -hmm. on. I really liked how the when Zoe was in with her writing group and Nate, it was like an AA meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. And that was wonderful. That was yeah. so good. Yeah. Charlie Kaufman made this movie called uh, Schenectady. Yeah, it's my favorite movie. Yeah. Right. Th in this the reminds me of that. Oh too. my God. You could. It's like a movie within a movie within a movie. You couldn't say anything better than that. It's like you could lose you could lose yourself in it. Yeah. So. So what you want to do is just like any of those things that come up, try to bring them into your story. So that's really what's going to make this sing, how authentic the locals are and, you know, the performances that you're going to get, you know, from people. Get inside of both of these people's heads 
go back into their relationship and have something very intimate about them that only translates to them. I totally love Zoe character. I think like even yeah. as an actor, uh -huh. um, just being like you said, an artist in this industry is so hard. You're like between these two worlds of like I could make money and do what I want, or I could just be true to myself and not do it. It has that inter internal struggle like so nailed in the dialogue. Short film is a sort of film where you watch this film, you're like oh shit, I really like that. Let me go back and watch it again. And as you're watching, you're seeing all these things in between the lines and all these other things. Right. And I yeah. think that the mark of a good film is one that there's constant dialogue and there's different opinions. And I think that where you place that added a slice of life to it that was so real, it let you roll to the end in a really, really great way, even the way that it ended. Uh, I am in the backyard of this amazing house that so we just finished doing a, uh, a table reading of Jen's amazing script. Uh, I didn't know what the movie was going to be about at all. Like, I know that she posted the whole thing about the script and everything, but it's still, like, I was like, all right, but what is it about? It's like <laughs> is it something that people should still get behind? I think it is something that people should still be, get behind. Now that I know what the script is, I can better like do an elevator pitch of it and be like, it's like that, and then like, and then people go go nuts about it. But I feel like it's good. I feel like you have to say that it is a reflexive comedy drama thing. <laughs> <laughs> Because I saw Jen at Whole Foods today. I was going to get milk and she was going to get wine and grapes and the whole thing like right before she came to my house. And the look on her face in line at the checkout was so just concentrating, stressed, kind of thinking out how it was all going to go today. And just now she's like relieved, relaxed. I feel like she just feels good about the script and just gives her that extra